Assalamualaikum. Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tutorial Design Graphics. And with me again, Mahathir from M3 today. Okay, today we are going to learn together how to make a simple coffee shop logo design in Inkscape. But also you can use uh, Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator too. The, the tools are similar. Okay, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to remove this border. Click File. Uh, and uncheck or unlist this show pick border okay and then let's make stars over here okay i'm gonna press okay like this and then i'm gonna change the number of the corners into 30 then i'm gonna move this okay you can see but uh in order we have a perfect move you have to uh, press control on your keyboard like this okay and now the number of the rounded we're gonna change it. Okay, gonna move this again. Okay, maybe like this. And after that, I want to activate this snap bonding box over here and all the elements. We're gonna put good lines are in the middle for horizontal and vertical. Like this. And then I wanna make a cycle like this okay uh, press ctrl and c on your keyboard okay like this and then i'm gonna duplicate it and after that i want to reset resize the cycle that we have we had duplicate i need more duplicate over here okay like this maybe like this once again, duplicate and put it over here in the middle. Okay, and now I want to make a, a little cycle by pressing Ctrl in order to cycle that we make uh, perfect. I'm gonna put right in the middle like this, and the cursor left right in the middle. Okay. Now, but before that, okay, I think it's enough. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm gonna move it to bottom like this. Okay, now for this gonna select these two uh, linear cycles and then I'm gonna part and union it okay and then I'm gonna duplicate it right click and duplicate and rotate it press control on your keyboard like this then I'm gonna select this all the little cycle then duplicate right click and duplicate press control and drag this move this once again duplicate and again duplicate again duplicate don't forget to press control keyboard control button I mean on your keyboard okay like this and I'm gonna move this I don't need this cycle anymore okay and now let's give some color I'm gonna click select this and this cycle two objects are select and part go to difference after that let's give some color maybe this okay then I'm gonna fill in stroke I'm gonna move the stroke like this and this one okay I'm gonna pop and difference for the stroke paint. I'm gonna change it to five. Okay, like this for the color of the stroke. Let's pick the color, same color with this. And now this. I'm gonna select this, this. Press shift on your keyboard and select all this cycle. Okay, this and let's union it. Part and union. Then let's give color, same color 
with this okay remove the stroke like this okay this 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 okay but union okay we almost down and now let's make how to say another another a cycle press shift and control on your keyboard okay give some stroke pain and move the field like this and then move to the bottom okay, I'll resize it okay I'm gonna go like this and now gonna duplicate okay maybe like this gonna duplicate once again okay and now I want to select this in this cycle part and difference I'm gonna make a perfect rectangle press control on your keyboard and then rotate it click once again and rotate this while pressing control 45 degrees put the rectangle right in the middle like this and move it to bottom let's recite it okay maybe like this I'm gonna select this rectangle and this cycle part intersection okay almost done I'm gonna research this it's too far sorry okay now I'm going to add uh, text I'm gonna give logo with my studio name M 3D Studio Now I'm gonna choose a phone. I'm gonna look for good phone. Oh, where are you? What kind of phone? Maybe this sketchbook. Apply. Okay. And now I'm gonna click or select this phone and just cycle click text and put on part like this okay you can see select the, uh, the cycle once again and rotate it oh my god okay we have it now gonna make it bigger and now I'm gonna select the text and the cycle part object part and now you can delete this cycle now I'm gonna give this uh, little kind of a ribbon or not not yet I'm gonna uh, make a perfect rectangle over here then I'm gonna rotate it like this I'm sorry oh <laughs> you don't have to rotate it put it like this and then duplicate duplicate and move it to the other side okay now I'm gonna select this press save on your keyboard and press this and this there are three objects select and part union now I'm gonna give dark chocolate color okay maybe it's too dark okay for the fill and stroke uh, I'm gonna give white color and okay. okay and now for the text I'm gonna give 
will maybe white. Uh, okay. White can add Studio, Coffee Studio, Coffee Studio, whatever. It's depending on you what kind of name that you want to give. Now we're gonna make uh, another uh, cycle. Make sure you press Ctrl and C on your keyboard. I'm gonna give a different color of here. I'm gonna put it into the back. One, two, okay, like this. I'm gonna put this, put this. Okay once again and now I want to make a rectangle <coughs> okay activate this snap uh, lead part by knot and move this okay now let's mix another rectangle I'm gonna cut this area. Okay, I'm gonna put it right <coughs> in the middle. I'm gonna select the two objects, part difference. Okay. Now to make a cup, I'm gonna make a, a rectangle like this. Okay, and then edit part by knot. Not yet. I'm gonna pull it like this. And then edit part by knot. Move it like this. Okay, and now I wanna make another rectangle. Okay, so like these two object part difference. Okay, now I want to make a rectangle again. I want to move this, and then I want to duplicate it. Right, let's give different color. Let's control C, find your keyboard, and move the move this. This is for the handle. Select this and this part difference, and select this part, part difference. Okay, now let's move it over here. Okay, my friends, and now I want to select this, I'm gonna move the stroke, and then I want to. Oh, not yet, not yet. I'm going to duplicate this first. Duplicate and give different color. Duplicate once again. Give different color in order you can see. Okay. And now I'm gonna select this two, press C and select this. There are two objects select, and then difference. Okay, and now we're gonna cut it. Select this part difference. Okay, let's give white color. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate it and object flip it into the horizontal and move it to the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna select this and the handle part union and I'm gonna select all the cup and make it in one group. Okay, put it over here. Okay, then I'm gonna select this and this. Oh, what is that? Sorry, this and this. 
Union. Okay. And now, how to say? I want to make a little smoke over here. Or maybe I can add some stars. Sorry. Oh, there's pain. I'm gonna change the number of the corners to the five and round it to the zero and move this okay Okay, the star. Oops, sorry. Where are you? Duplicate the stars and move it to the other side. Okay, we almost done. Now I want to make a little smoke over here. I'm gonna use B0 tool. So, tag, 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 tag. Okay, now click edit part by node. Okay, let's let's get have some fun. too far okay this is for finishing you can do better than this just try it by yourself okay Now let's pick the color. Same with this and move the stroke. Okay, and then remove the good lines. Okay, it's done. M3 Studio Coffee. Coffee shop. Okay, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to charts and graphics. Give it a like, thumbs, of course, and give us a good comment. And, and don't forget to share it into your friend. And thank you for watching. Once again, don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Okay, I'm sorry if there is a mistake. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. I'm Hatir. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.